it's your baby girl in the building chinita <laughs> and this is chinita's corner please if you, this is your first time of coming across my channel you're so welcome sorry guys that i have not been filming for some time now it's just because of my business and I, I just set, started a new business and i needed to put all my attention all my focus and everything in that business to at least stabilize it for now that is just it so i'm so sorry i had a i have a lot of contents i wanted to put out during the festive period ranging from my visit to some villages where i watched masquerade some mass you know some festive events and some festivals that i attended some wedding a lot of things that i wanted to bring up to you guys but then I remember that I promised that my next video from the last video I made I'm going to show you how to make crochet footwear and I can't continue making other contents or bringing to you other contents without fulfilling that promise so that is why I said today anytime I want to film as in like one thing or the other will just come up I will, I will just say maybe next time I will I must defile it today. So I decided I'm going to show you how to at least make um, crochet foundation. Even if we don't end up making the complete sander or slipper, whatever we're going to make, at least let's just start with the foundation first. Anyhow, next ne, ne, in the next video we continue with it. So are you a first time i hear or is this the first time you're seeing my face please don't mind my face i just decided that no preparation for this video i just dumped all the things i was supposed to do in the kitchen i said today today i must film anyhow 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 i must do something today so guys if you're a first time i hear you are so much welcome this is chinita's corner here we talk about a lot of things that has to do with motherhood parenting lifestyle sex marriage entrepreneur and which is what we are going to do today so you're not in the wrong channel please don't forget to hit the icon button for other notifications of my other videos so you're not in the wrong channel okay so stay tuned guys you don't know how much i missed you guys it's so so it's so so in as in like you don't understand the kind of joy i derive some people will be like this girl you have not said they're making money from this youtube every time you're just stressing yourself guys you don't know how i feel only sitting down and talking to myself in the camera as in like <laughs> it gives me joy so let's just forget about that let's go in, into the today's business okay catch you let's go diving immediately no wasting of time <laughs> so guys you're going to start i'm going to show you what you use this for but it's called puncher i don't know if you are seeing it so next one is gum this is foreign gum I just bought little the jerry can is in four liters they have four liters you have two liters or there about but i usually buy this because i don't make for commercial use that was a time i made for commercial use but for now i'm not making for commercial use so what i do i just buy one liter or is this up to one liter like this um soft drink like i don't know what um, the drink is this pepsi bottle you just buy like this it's not all these things i mentioned they are not even costly they are all cheap like something like this i don't know you can even get it all, um for 700 or 500 what's it? anyhow and this is a um, leather you'll be cutting it to cover the front that is even where you're going to need on in fact and this is marco you'll be cutting it using this um sew to get the shape of this soap because that is where you've been knitting on before coming it on this soap so having said all that let's just dive in immediately so we're going to start by cutting out our mako by using them um, our soap we use the soap to cut out the mako so you know that you've gotten something like this you keep the sole, then get your leather 
and make uh, make and do the same thing. Cut out your leather because it's in your, in this leather is what you're going to use to cover the marco. And you still, you still make the same process. You use your pen and draw on top of the, the leather to give you the shape of the marco. After which, you still cut it out. It's going to give you something like this. Then after giving the mark, you cut it out. All these things, because all these soles have different sizes. So you ha you make sure you are working with the same size, the same the size you want. If it's this is size 39, 38. Okay, size 39. Now we are working with size 39. We make sure that everything we are cutting, we are cutting it. We are cutting it with the initial size, which is 39. That is why we are always measuring it. So that we will have So guys, I think this um, position is better. So you can see what I'm doing. Because now we want to go into the main thing. Okay, let me get um something to take this gun so we're going to be applying our gum on top of the leather and on top of the macro before using the poncho Hope you guys are seeing how I'm rubbing it. Just be rubbing it like this. Make sure it covers all those places that you that you, that have um, pen lining. Like you you be you still be seeing the the line of the pen that you drew before cutting it. So you make sure that all those parts. Uh, because sometimes you can cut more than the line you made so you just make sure you touch the gum when after rubbing that so you rub the macro remember this is macro you rub the macro We use brush to do this, but I don't have brush, so I just decided to use toothbrush. I don't have gum brush. We have what we call gum brush, but I just noticed that I can't find my own. So I just decided to improvise. So you guys, if you, are, if you want to buy your own material, you just get gum brush. So after rubbing it, you stretch it. Make sure you just straighten it because if you see gums, it's very hard pulling off. Maybe if you don't get the gumming very well, make sure it covers all the parts. Make sure it covers all the parts. It's better you have some remnants by the side that you trim out than the leather not covering the marker very well. That is why I said when you are co cutting the mark, the leather, you cut and leave some excess, so you don't say it's press it very well. Then after which, you then cut out. You cut out the excess look at from here you have excess here you have excess leather there so what you will do is you trim it off 
so it will be in the same line with the macro so it will be in the same line with the macro This is what we call the and the atmos part of the any sandal or shoe you always see the what do they call it the some people call it um, I don't know what I've forgotten. So the next thing we're going to do now is um that is why I said when you are cutting the mark the leather you cut and leave some excess so you don't say it press it very well then after which you then cut out you cut out the excess cut from here we have a so the next thing we're going to do now is poncho that is why we brought this we start we start our puncturing from here depending anyway but that was how i i learned mine we start puncturing from here the essence of this puncture is to enable easy penetration of the of the pin when you want to crochet so it, it's just imagine crocheting on this thing now without puncturing it you just puncture to give it holes so that when you want to crochet you just be passing through those holes as you are crocheting so we, the next thing we do is to puncture you start giving it holes start giving it holes look at the distance i'm giving don't give it much much distance look at the distance i'm giving look at it Show it round, round, till it gets back to this place again. So guys after puncturing it round the marker and so this is what the how is going to be like it's going to be like this make sure it's visible from the back so it won't give you stress will give you stress in meeting will give you stress when you're meeting it look at the back guys after the puncturing the next thing is um, to get the the twine you get the two mouths like i told you, you divide it into two so you can have two mouths if you don't have if you don't want to divide it you can as well get two of the twine so you can have two mouths then keep it on the floor or inside a bag so it doesn't stain as you are knitting because it will just be rolling so if you don't want it to roll and get that maybe depending on where you are knitting because me I knit anywhere 
after that you coil some on your hand and keep it like this then you get your pin crocheting pin like i told you initially that you start somewhere here start from here or anywhere in fact here too you can equally start here putting your pin i don't know for some of you that knitted while in secondary school and primary you take it bring it out here see how easy it was because i've punctured it already then you take it you take it and bring it out it's still remaining there's still a remnant there you leave the remnant as in the one remaining at the back and put in your pin here and take another one put in your pin take another one this crocheting we call it single crochet you put another one you just be taking the lines one by one when you put in your pin you take it out and take from your hand and bring it out you put from your hand you put from the hole you put inside the hole you take from your hand see my you take from your hand bring it out take from up from your hand too and then bring it out just see how it's going see how it's from it's gradually coming up take another one put in the put in the hole again put the pin inside the hole you take from the back take from the front and bring it out just as simple as just put the hole the, the pin from the hole we take from the back when you bring it at at the front you still take from the front you just take front and back you call it single crochet you put on the hole take from the back and bring it to the front then from the front again you take another one and bring it to the front it's gradually going look at it look at it so get out just as simple as just put the hole the the pin from the hole we take from the back when you bring it at at the front you still take from the front you just take front and back we call it single crochet we put on the hole take from the back and bring it to the front then from the front again you take another one and bring it to the front it's gradually going look at it look at it so We are coming to the last hole now, so I have to slow down so you, you see how we close it because that is another place that is very sensitive. We have knitted the last hole. So after knitting the, the last hole, the next place you need is the first hole you knitted. So you can link it together. The first hole. You have knitted the last hole. The next hole you need is the first hole you knitted. You put it there. As usual. 
as usual take it front see you have drained it see you have drained it and after doing that you slip it look at how you slip it don't mind this one that is coming out from the back. You slip it. I've see I've knitted knit from the first hole. Take out one. Take out one. And we cut that. After cutting it like now, after cutting it, you don't have to leave it like this or like this. What you will do, you blunt, you block the mouth with light. You lose light, you use lighter on matches or any form of light. So the, the trade doesn't lose. You know, it's rubber. It's in rubber form. So once you light it, it will just blunt the mouth and lock it as in this is just a form of locking it guys look at it i finish making it this is crochet foundation so any other thing you want to make now is going to be on top of this foundation any style you want to make you want to make sand out you make it on top of this foundation you meant to make slippers you make it on top of this foundation you want to make sure you make it on top of this foundation so and sometimes you make it and fix it depending on the style after fixing it you now gum it on top of the soap that is your slippers after making it gum it Making it, you see, after making it, you gum it. So, for today, but our today's focus is just on how to make this foundation. So, in our next video, we continue on how to knit and or making it any style that we want. In our next video, we don't know the style we're going to, we can just make simple slippers. I've not told this um what you use to test slippers or show or test what you are doing. If you are working on something as you're working, you'll be using this to be testing it. So as in our next video, we're going to talk about the style we're going to make because the style we're going to make depends. Depends. But it doesn't change anything from this foundation. This is the first thing you do while crocheting because any style you want to make you must end up fixing it on this foundation or knitting it from this foundation so this is the only foundation you need when you want to do your crochet once you are done with this you cannot put up any style you want if you want a basket sandal you start knitting like this you knit here you go back you knit it you keep on coming but it depends on we have the we have some secrets on how you crochet is either you do double double knitting single knitting or two in one hole or jumping a hole stuffs like that if you want to do it depends on the style you want to you can make them on this foundation so guys that is all for today please if you know you like more of this kind of videos please tell me in the, using the comment section so i will know the kind of videos i'll be putting up for you guys please if you want more of this video more of these crocheting videos tell me i can be making more of it 
that is just it i told you this channel is not just all about talking and all that you're still going to learn a lot of things i'm going to show you a lot we're going to meet a lot of styles if you still want it privately taught to you you can give me a dm i can be making a whatsapp videos and be sending to you privately as far as it's just your wish i will do it because it's not easy subscribing to my channel so i think this is the only way i can show my gratitude and appreciation for all for coming across my channel <laughs> i'm so overwhelmed thank god we just got this today so guys i'll see you in my next videos still keep in touch i love you guys sorry i didn't wish you guys happy new year <laughs> Happy New Year, and this remains your baby girl, where is your Choma Anita, and this is Chinita's Corner. Keep keeping in touch, and I will keep bringing better and good contents to you guys. I love you. Take care. Bye.